Hello, Dr. Smith and the rest of the internet. Here is our project all about the X chromosome. This is the X chromosome of a healthy individual in metaphase one of meiosis one. So as you can see, there are lighter bands and darker bands. The darker bands are heterochromatin, which where the genes are more dense, and the lighter bands are euchromatin, where the genes are less dense. The change of bands of color here is our representation of crossing over, which happens during prophase one of meiosis one. The bands represent the same alleles, but they're different colors just because they are different versions of the same allele. We take our, taped our chromatids together with duct tape, which is our representation of the centromere. And we have pink construction paper, is, and that's what we're using as a connector core, which is where the spindle fibers connect to the chromosome. That was a healthy individual. Here is our totally messed up individual with all sorts of genetic mutations. This is still chromosome X, and if you pay ten close attention to the bands of color, they match up with what the other one does. But what's different on this one is that we added purple bands, which is our genetic mutation bands. And each of these bands has the name of the, like the letter name, which would be in this case TAS, and then on the back we have uh, the syndrome, which is in this case Pentology of Cantrell. So they're all on here, and each group member put their own on, so it worked out great. And they're all in the correct location, according to the OMIN gene map page. And back to the regular happy chromosome. We uh, went to the same location, and instead of adding the whole genetic disorder that you should pray you don't get, we added the pro protein that the gene makes when it, in its normal state. And that is the conclusion of our project about the X chromosome. We would really appreciate an A+.